So welcome to another Bootstrap tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at modals. Now modals is this thing that pops up and makes the background dark and we can put stuff in here, we can have buttons down here and have a heading. Uh, in the next tutorial we'll be looking at creating this table inside here. So modals are pretty simple but their markup can sometimes get a little bit confusing so uh, you'll need to just follow along with it. So we're going to be adding this to the button for shared hosting so I'm just going to remove this button completely and create a new anchor. So the anchor is going to be view plan still. It's going to have class equal to button, a href of equal to pricing shared, and it's going to be hash pricing shared. This can be whatever you want. This is just what we're going to call that modal roll is going to be equal to button and this will give it the same behavior as a button data dash toggle is equal to modal now this is going to tell sort of javascript or bootstrap to open a modal uh, you can also use data toggle for other things for opening uh, we used it in our navigation for the drop down and but in this case we'll be using it to, to trigger a modal so that's it for the link now obviously when we refresh here, no one do anything because we haven't created the modal. Now the modal will go at the bottom of our page below the navbar since we want this to be the last thing that's loaded but before the JavaScript still. So for our modal we're going to create a div with an, with an ID equal to pressing shared. Remember that's what we called it before but we don't need the hash this time. Pressing shared class is equal to modal hide fade. Now these are just the uh, classes for opening the modal uh, so class modal and also the, the transitions and things so let's just close this off again these are all just standard bootstrap classes then we're going to have a div with a class equal to modal header and this is what's going to give us that header section which will say shared hosting pricing or whatever and inside this header, we can create a h3, and this will be shared hosting. So if we save that, and we refresh over here, you can see it comes up with shared hosting, and we don't have a content area or a footer area yet. So let's create that now. So we'll have another div with a class equal to modal modal body and for now I'm just going to simply put a paragraph tag and some text goes here so now if we save that and refresh view plans and some text goes here so it's looking nicer but we want the footer bar still which is going to give us the buttons so for the footer is div class equal to modal dash footer and close it off and inside here is where we're going to have our buttons so we're going to have a button and close it off of course and the text is going to be close class is going to be to button to give it that style so btn data dash dismiss and this is going to be modal and that's it so this is basically telling it to close the current modal so that's what the data dismiss is going to do it's going to hide that modal and then show us the screen again so refresh view plans see we've got a button here close it and open it like that so that is modals um, obviously you can have just normal uh, any tags you want here, you can have images, you can have tables, you can have I don't know, you can have iframes, do whatever you want in here um, yeah, so anything like that. So that's it for modals, uh, thank you for watching this tutorial, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe if you found it useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial